Mac Method Gang. We back with another video, man. I know I've been absent for about a week now, but we back with it. You know what I'm saying? Today we're gonna be talking about how to attract things you want in life, specifically money, okay? Because honestly, y'all, what I've realized these past couple months, honestly, is the less you, the less you are obsessed with actually getting money, the more you're gonna get, which kind of sounds funny and doesn't make any sense, but it's true. I feel like when you're detached from money and you don't look at it as an as as a resource that's so scarce, and you're so pressed to have more money and make money and do this and that. This doesn't mean don't do anything and you attract money. No, obviously you have to work and you have to do what you got to do to make money. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is like, I've obviously, I obviously want to like everyone in the, in the planet, bro. Want to get rich, want to make a lot of money, this and that, of course. But even though that is my goal, one of my goals, I'm not so um, attached to money. And I'm not so like worried about spending money or worried about investing money or using it for this or using it for that. Because when I was doing that before, I noticed that I wasn't attracting more money. Like I wasn't able to get more money with different opportunities, different things I did because I was looking at money as an item, as a resource that's so scarce and it's so difficult to acquire. When in reality, it's really not that difficult to acquire money. It really isn't, right? And that's been proven to me these last couple of months because I'm not saying I'm balling or I have thousands and thousands, a hundred thousand dollars. No, not yet. Do I believe I will be a millionaire and rich? A hundred percent. I believe that to the core. I really do. Um, am I anywhere near that? No. But have I definitely increased my net worth and income by a lot since the beginning of this year? Yes, I have. A hundred percent. Guys, literally last year I was in debt like twelve thousand dollars. Um. Like I had negative money, bro. Like I literally, yeah, I was in debt 12,000 and I barely had like a thousand dollars on my checking account. Like I had no money, you know what I mean? I'm broke. I had, ba I barely had a job because if you know anything about my story, I barely had jobs or when I did have a job, I would immediately quit within like three months. You know what I'm saying? Like I never had like a stable job where I was there working for like a year um and stuff like that uh it was terrible you know what i'm saying horrible so now i'm obviously i'm debt free um of course i have debts like my car and things like that but it's not like i'm negative money like literally i was negative money yeah i have debts but i'm nowhere near negative at all <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's kind of crazy how within a year i was able to change that and looking back, I'm like, damn, like all, all it was was just a mind shift. It was literally just a mind shift. Of course, I had to work hard as hell to get out of that. But I remember when I was sitting in my car, my old car, because I had gotten in a car accident from the car that I'm talking about. And then I had to get a new car. So guys, I just kept getting in more debt and more debt. But the point is, anyways, I was sitting in my car one time. This is when I was in debt, like $10,000, like, bro. I had nothing. I'm sitting there like, damn, like, I just had got a job at my first bank that I worked at. And I was sitting there like, dude, I'm literally a loser, bro. I have nothing to my name, barely have, uh, I don't even have money. Like, I'm literally negative money. And um, I hate this job. You know what I'm saying? And it was just shit. Like, it, like I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I felt like I always had some sort of something holding me back when in reality it was just me holding myself back i was trying to blame it on other people and oh well it's because my family and and oh well this no dude it was literally just me it was literally just me and i was sitting in my car and i was like there's two options because i was like sad depressed or whatever there's two options i could either 
sit here and keep doing the same thing I'm doing, which is clearly not working. Sit here, complain, do nothing, and just keep staying with this job and this and that. And um, just keep complaining and wasting money on food every day and buying this and buying that. Complaining that you're broke, but still wasting all your money on useless things. Or I can get another job while working this job. Don't go out at all. Don't spend money at all. Don't do anything at all besides make money to get out of this situation. So of course I went with the second option because I was tired of being in debt and being negative money, bro. It sucks, dude. Being negative money, like imagine that. Like your checking account literally has like your negative money, bro. You can barely buy shit. Like you can't even buy shit. So anyways, I chose the second option and I got two jobs. I was working at a bank job. I was doing Uber every single day, literally guys. I was literally working from, uh, what was it? 8, 8.30 to six o'clock or 8.30 to 5.30. And then from 5.30 to 11 o'clock, I would Uber every single day, literally every single day. That was my whole week for months, dude. I was doing that every single day. Did I wanna do that? No. Did I have to do that? Yes. And um, I'm so glad I did that because by me doing that, I got out of debt. I obviously had money coming in, like way a lot of money coming in, decent amount at the time to pay off all I had to pay off. I wasn't playing no games. I wasn't hanging out. I wasn't buying dates and doing and, you know, hang out and all. No, bro. That was all I was doing. I didn't care. I was like, I'm tired of this shit. Of course, I was still working out. Like I would wake up in the morning, work out at home. That's what I was doing. That's how I maintained my physique the whole time because I sure as hell was not gonna get fat or get sloppy or anything, never that. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. I had to do it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everyone at some point needs to have two jobs. I feel like everyone has, I feel like in general, you need to have two jobs, bro. You need to have two jobs. You need to have multiple streams of income. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was doing YouTube, but I wasn't getting paid. Yeah, I was doing TikTok at the time, at the time getting sponsored by certain things because I used to do something else. Uh, this stupid glare, bro. I hate how this glare is like ruining this thing. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, I was getting paid, but it wasn't enough. Was my mindset there? Not really. It was, but it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like how it is now at all. It was definitely becoming that, but I had to go through this in order for me to be like how I am now. And honestly, guys, this happens to everyone. I feel like at some point you have to make a decision. You have to take your life and grab it by the balls, bro. Like you do, like you have to, or else you're gonna be stuck in the same spot. You're gonna be broke, poor, and useless. Like you're gonna, and it's gonna start. And the thing with this is once you keep getting more broke, you keep, you keep basically, um, lowering yourself because you're putting yourself down basically by you remaining broke and you remaining in the same spot you've been in for the last couple of years you're literally reaffirming that you're a loser and you can't do anything that you set your mind to because every day you're constantly fulfilling that prophecy because you're not doing anything you keep doing the same thing you're doing which is getting you zero results you're not doing anything with your time you're wasting all of it Am I saying I'm this like perfect, I use every minute of every, no, I, I'm not. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like one of these gurus that, oh man, like, dude, I try, I try. Can I try harder? Absolutely. Am I way better than I was before? Absolutely. Like I am, you know what I'm saying? It's all about getting a little bit better every day. I'm not perfect, I'm not this, I man, fucking, uh, I'm not Alex Hermosi, bro. I'm fucking, I'm not this nigga, bro. I'm not. Am I trying to be like him? Yes, but like, I'm, I'm also, I also live in reality, dude. I understand that, um, you know, it's all, it's all about just getting better at least 1% every day or trying, trying and trying. Don't be stagnant and just keep trying, bro. Because that's all you can do. That's really all you can do. Try your best, try new things, try different ways, move around, put yourself in different positions, try this, try that. Seek out help, seek out a mentor, seek out this, seek out that. 
that's all you can do. But you sitting there doing nothing is getting you the results that you don't want. It's keeping you in that position that you're in currently. And in turn, it keeps you broke, bro. Because the thing with being broke is, literally being broke is a mindset. Yeah, I was broke. Like I was, I had no money. Like I said, I was literally negative money. Um, but the reality was I was in a broke mindset because I didn't do anything. I literally, I kept switching jobs. I kept wasting my money. I kept doing this, I kept doing that. I kept doing all these useless things that would keep making me broke. And my mindset, like I said, I was scared of money, basically. I was looking at money as something scarce, a resource that's so hard to acquire, a resource that's so difficult to get your hands on, when in reality, money is not hard to get, bro. It really isn't hard. And once you start thinking like that, where you're like, where you start believing that you live in abundance, right? That money isn't scarce. Mon money is something that is abundant to you. You're able to acquire money whenever you want to. You're able to do things to get this, get this currency, get this resource. It's going to start coming to you. Like I said earlier, even when you stop, when you stop putting so much, um, what's the word? When you stop putting so much, I can't think of the word right now. Like, uh, how do I say it? I want to say emphasis, but it's not the word I was looking for. Uh, I guess I would use like, it's kind of like pressure, emphasis, you're so much thought, or you're giving money so much power over you, basically, is what I'm trying to say. That you don't control it, the money controls you. So in the end, you're not going to receive it, or it's going to be very difficult, and you're going to keep being in that mindset that you can't get money and money is so hard now am i saying it's you know don't do anything and then oh money will just come to you if you don't think about it no you obviously have to work but what i'm saying is don't just don't look at money as a scarce resource you should look at money like it's something abundant because look around guys there's millions trillions trillions money being printed out every day there's so much wealth around that you can acquire. There is, like there is an abundance of money. You just have to acquire it and you have to believe that you can and you have to obviously take the steps and the right, you know, things to get it. Once I started doing that, money has been coming to me way more than it was before, bro. Way more. Like I said, am I rich? No. Am I anywhere near how much wealth I wanna have? No. But do I have way more money than I had last year? Yes. Am I comfortable? No, because I don't want to be comfortable because then, I, and then I'll get into this mindset to where I'm like, oh, well, I'm good. I don't have to work more. But right now I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm in a better spot. I'm in a way better spot than I was last year, bro. hundred percent, like a billion percent, dude. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to touch on this. Like, that's it. Um, I'm not saying you're never going to have hard times and, you know, all this stuff. But once you once you start looking at money as it's just, you know, you live in abundance, bro. It's not a scarce resource. You're not so, oh, man, I'm so broke. I can't get this. I can't get that. This and that money, this money, that. Oh, that. you're so attached to this thing that it, it, it controls you and then you're not going to get it. It's so hard to get because you're so worried about it. It's so hard to get because you're so worried about it. You are, bro. And it's not going to come to you. It's literally not. You're chasing it away. That's basically what I was trying to say. It took me 30, 14 minutes to get to this. You're basically chasing money away, bro, because the harder you chase something, the more fleeting it becomes. Rather than if you just improve yourself and do things to attract the money, it's going to come and you don't have to sit there chasing the money and running after it like a, like you're, you know what I'm saying? It's going to keep fleeting. It's going to keep fleeting. Yeah. You're going to grab a couple dollars here and there. You're going to grab, but bro, it's going to keep fleeting, man. So just upgrade yourself 
improve yourself do things that's going to attract and bring money to you look at money as something that is abundant look at money like it's something that you can acquire believe this in your heart of hearts believe this in your subconscious mind you have to believe this stuff through and through i literally believe through and through in my heart of hearts that i will become rich i will be um you know i don't have to worry about money no more i will be free of this this nine to five rat race crap and I'll, I'll I'll have what I need to have to live the life that I want to live. You know what I'm saying? Time freedom, location freedom, and obviously the ability to make money in what I like doing. I believe this through and through. Like I said, I'm nowhere near that position. Obviously, I'm working way better. Obviously, I've made huge leaps and bounds within a year. Um, and you can too. You literally can. It's, there's always more work to be done, of course. But guys, it's just a mental. It's literally just a mindset shift. It, it really is. Um, and then for the people that are gonna say, "Oh well, you have it better than me," this and that. Okay, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know your situation. I don't know you. There's obviously people that have it way worse than me. There's obviously people that have it way better than me. Am I saying that I'm, you know, have it so bad? Um, no, but I also don't have it the best. I mean, whatever. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You can, whatever you're dealt with, your hand, you can still win with that hand. Some people's hands are gonna be better than yours. There's, there's millions and billions of people with better hands than I have, but that's not gonna stop me from playing and setting myself in the right position to be, to do the things I want, bro. That makes no sense. Okay, I get that people have it better than me. I might have it better than you. I might have it, I might not. Who cares? At the end of the day, you still have to do what you have to do to get yourself out of that position. Like what? It doesn't matter who has it better than you because you're still dealing with your situation. So why are you so folk worried about, oh, well, he had this and he had that. So. Uh, OK, are what are you going to do about your situation? Sitting there doing nothing isn't gonna get you out of it. That's what I was doing. That's why I was in debt, $12,000. That's why I was sitting there broke as hell, depressed in my car, damn near about to cry, seeing how much of a loser I am. You know what I mean? That's what that leads to, bro. So yeah, there is millions of people that have it better than you. Who cares? You still have to do what you have to do or you're gonna remain in that same spot. So get your shit together. Anyways, that's it for this video. I This wasn't supposed to be 18 minutes, bro. But yeah, we back with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to actually be uploading um, gym, gym vlogs because at this point, I need to. I have these killer workouts, these killer uh, days where I'm just going ham. And I want to post it. I want to see. I want to show y'all what I mean with my workouts. You know what I'm saying? So anyways. That's it for the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay.